It seemed like a lot of people doubt you in this fight. We just recently saw Javante Tank Davis say that uh, you're too flat-footed for this fight. What's your thoughts on that? Don't care, bro. I beat the eyes already, bro. I don't care. I don't care what nobody say, bro. I don't care about no eyes. I disconnected from the whole um, from the whole world right now this whole week, so I don't care. I don't care what nobody say. Can you talk to us a little bit, Regis, about where you are mentally? You say you disconnected. You're focused on Devin. Just focused, yeah. I'm just focused, bro. I turned my phone. Oh, somebody, um, somebody on my team got my phone, bro, since Monday. So, yeah, I'm disconnected from everybody. I don't care nothing about what nobody got to say. Like, I'm the boss of what's going on, and that's it. When you think about this fight, what do you, how do you think it's going to play out Saturday? Obviously, I know you said you're not interested in talking about, you know, what other people are saying about your movement or your challenges. What, what do you think about when you think about this fight? What is Regis going to be? I, I think I'm going to hurt him. I really think I'm going to hurt him. I think it's going to be a stoppage, a bad stoppage. That's what I think. You know, people can say I'm flat-footed, all that. That's cool, bro. Let people um, believe what they want to believe. That's fine. I've been working my ass off for this, bro. I've been in camp for like four months for this. So sacrificed and did everything, bro. Stay away from my family. Just did everything I need to do, so I don't care what nobody got to say. Like, it's about me. Without giving away too much, what's the biggest attribute you feel like you have to uh, disarm Devin Haney of? Don't want to give away too much. I mean, I'm just, just be me. At the end of the day, be me, be loose, be confident. And that's it. And I, I, I don't feel like he can mess with me. That's it. I, I, I feel like I'm faster, all that stuff. I mean, I don't show it because I hit hard, but man, we'll see. Regis, when I saw you last at your, at your fight in New Orleans, after the fight, I know obviously you didn't feel the greatest about that outcome, and you spoke to that a little bit. You said you, you weren't maybe in the best place at that time. You had some things going on. Where are you right now? Way different. It's like a way different feel. Like, even my team and stuff like that, they were saying, like, the last fight just felt like I was kind of going through the motions. Like, this fight, everybody's excited. Everybody's hyped up about it. I've been working. Like I said, I went to Keller. Usually, I go to California. I stay out there in L.A. about two weeks um, and train and stuff. Like, this time, I did it for, like, two months and stayed away from my family, stayed from my kids. Just sacrificed everything I need to to ensure um, ensure victory. What, is, what does winning this fight mean to you? What kind of statement does that make? It make a statement to the world. If, if everybody doubt me, I like that. I, I honestly like that, bro. Like, People talk about the eyes, bro. I beat the eyes already. Look where I'm at right now. Looking, looking for where I came from. And look where I'm at right now. I beat the eyes already. So that that little eyes, this this little eyes on the fight don't mean nothing to me, bro. I beat the eyes in life, so that shit don't matter. Hey, what made you take the fight in the Bay Area in his backyard? That's what they offered. This not his backyard. Stop that shit, bro. Devin is, he lived here. He left when he was seven. He's from Henderson, Nevada. This is not his fucking back. I'm riding, I walk, I'm, I'm going to gyms. I'm running down the street. People stopping their cars and they're like, man, fuck Devin, man. You got to beat Devin ass, man. We don't like him. How's that his hometown? If Devin did that shit in New Orleans, ain't nobody going to ever do that about me. This how's his hometown. He left when he was seven years old. This is not his hometown. People keep saying that. Yeah, like he he's from here. He got, um maybe his daddy got ties here. Devin is not from here, bro. People... I'm like literally I'm running we ran and stuff like that yesterday on the street and people pulling over in the cars off the street pulling over man you got whoop Devin ass man fuck Devin all this shit fuck the Haynes all that how is they from here the people like here the people on the street feel like that, in San so. Francisco in San Francisco yes San I'm San running here crazy. yes I ran crazy. yesterday but is that better is I don't care bro it don't matter gym, right huh you know he grew up in the TMT gym we don't yeah. know that. You know that. Stop asking questions Evan, about Evan, Devin Haney. Evan, 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 Evan. Man, I don't, bro, it don't matter, bro. I don't care about that. You said that fans don't uh, really like him. Um, I guess what about him from your observations would make fans feel that way? What do you feel he's not very liked by fans? I just feel like, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not, I don't know nothing about Devin personally, bro. Maybe he's just not for the people. Maybe he don't, you know, he just act like a suit. I don't know. I don't know, bro. That's, that's. You know, that's the fans. You know, maybe he's just not, like, outside like I am. Like, I really be everywhere. Like, in New Orleans, people know I, bro. I be everywhere in New Orleans, on the street and all that stuff. Same thing in Houston. I'm everywhere. People see me out and stuff like that. Sometimes people get a little, you know, they get a little high in life, and they kind of disconnect. I'm, like, with the people everywhere I go. You're like more, you're more, you feel you're more approachable. I feel like I'm more people champ. That's what I want to be, yeah, people champ. Hey, Chance, you said that um, you, you followed Marvin, Hag Marvin Hagler's career. And he stayed at 160 his entire career. You want to stay at 140. How is it that you can consistently make the weight without having nutrition? My nutrition, bro. I'm like feeling, bro. Like I'm literally like a few years ago, I missed weight a few times, and I was doing the old school way. And man, I changed my nutrition around. And like now, nah, bro, I'm literally. I feel like I can fight tonight, bro. And I'm, if you can see, I'm lighter in weight, and I feel, I feel like super good. So I changed my nutrition around, and that's it. Regis, Regis talk to us about the promotion. Uh, kind of the B-side vibe, even though you're the champion at 140. Uh, how does that make you feel inside? Um, 
it's like it aggravated me a little bit, but I told him we're not playing it. I told him like you gonna treat me like the champion, the promotion, whatever. You gonna treat me like the champion. I told you, Devin, they can say he from the Bay, all that stuff, bro. He's really not. But at the end of the day, bro, <clears> my back against the wall. I like that. That's how I, I kind of like to feel like that. So it don't matter. How Reason. motivated are you to spoil his pseudo homecoming? Of Devin That's what I'm not. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna do it. I, like I said, I'm training my ass off for this, bro. Like for this. Um, like staying away, just sacrificing. So I sacrifice so much for this one moment. So it's it's no failure. Is there a visualization inside of that? I keep, I keep, like I, it's in my head. It's been in my head, and it, I, I literally can't get the vision out of my head. Like it's 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 only victory, and I think it's gonna be a a, a brutal stoppage. Rage it's just hope. only that's the only thing that's in my head, bro. I, I literally can't get it out. I, I feel like I'm gonna stop. What, I'm happens, what happens to Devin Amy after this fight? If you put on a brutal stoppage, does he go back down to 135? That, where, where do you think his career goes? I think he'll go up to 47, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't think he can go back to 135. Probably go to 147 or something like that. Regis, what do, you think, what do, you, what? do you think he's overlooking you, Regis, when he's mentioning other fights and mentioning even 147 against Keith Thurman? Do you think he's overlooking you? Maybe. Maybe he is, maybe not. I don't know. Or maybe it's just head games, bro. Like, I know, like, they. They want to play those type of games, but like, not, I feel like nothing is working. You know, yesterday we did a face off, and I heard Bill saying, "Oh, I heard you've been working on the right hook." But at first you say it's the left hand, now you say it's the right hook. Well, obviously I only got two hands. I can't hit you with my third tail or nothing like that. So, you know, they trying to play mind. They trying to say these things, trying to play mind games, but that shit literally is just nothing is working, bro. I'm just so locked in. I'm so focused. Like I said, I don't. I'm disconnected. I don't care what media say. Nothing. I'm disconnected from everything. So it's only in my head what's going on. So. Yeah, that's what, it. What do you take for for this fight um, from the the fight that you had with Josh Taylor, the disappointing loss, that you make sure that you won't have that same outcome in this fight? What kind I'm of a way mindset? better person. Just first off, I'm a way better fighter. I'm a way better fighter. That was what four years ago. I'm I'm a whole different like different monster, different animal, way way different. So, yeah. Do you feel like you can't let it go to the judges based on how you were treated versus Josh Taylor? Sometimes, yeah, but at the same time. I feel like judges could be fair. I feel like they definitely could be fair and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. Reed, you seen the build up at the beginning. You said that you felt maybe Devin was um, Eddie's boy effectively, and maybe he was slightly favoring him or siding with him. Do you still feel like that as we've drawn closer towards Bobby? I ain't seen Eddie yet, so um, I told him that. He was like, "No, nah, it's not my boy," but I was like, "Yeah, that's your boy, bro." But I'm gonna beat your boy ass. That's all, you know. So. <laughs> Whatever, uh, bro, like I said, it don't matter, bro. Like, I'm just so locked in, I'm so focused. It don't matter what people got to say. It don't matter media got to say. It don't matter nothing, bro. It's, just, it's At the end of the day, it's going to be me and him in the ring, and that's all that matters. Thanks very much, gentlemen. We're literally just keep going out. On the zone, make sure y'all watch the zone because on um, pay-per-view, but it's a, we got a, a big-ass schedule, matter of fact, all, all these fights.